Hey Myrmico team, today we're diving into a truly fascinating species, Polyrachis dives. This unique weaver ant is ultra active and most importantly, polygyny. That means multiple queens can coexist within the same colony, leading to rapid and spectacular development. Ready, let's go. So what does Polyrachis dives look like? Workers measure between five and seven millimeters while queens are slightly larger, around eight to 10 millimeters. Their color ranges from golden to silvery reflections, giving them an elegant appearance. But what really makes them stand out are the small spines on their thorax and abdomen. And no, they're not just for show. These spines help protect them from predators. When it comes to behavior, this species is hyper energetic. These ants are extremely active, fast moving, and highly defensive. If their nest is threatened, they respond instantly. Their strong survival instincts make them absolutely fascinating to observe. In the wild, Polyrachis dives mainly lives in Southeast Asia, thriving in tropical forests as well as urban areas. Their standout feature, they build carton nests using their larvae silk to glue plant materials together. In captivity, they reproduce this exact behavior, which is truly amazing to watch. Colonies can grow very large and form multiple interconnected nests, a phenomenon called polydomy. If you want to keep this species, there are a few essential conditions to meet. Ideal temperature, between 24 and 30 degrees Celsius. They also require high humidity, 30 to 40% in the nest and 60 to 80% in the foraging area. The best setup is a tropical terrarium with branches and wood chips to help them build their nests. When it comes to food, they have a very fast metabolism, so they need a lot of it. They love insects like flies, cockroaches, and mealworms. And of course, they need plenty of sugary foods, fruits, beetle jelly, fruit juice. The more food they have, the more their colony thrives. For colony founding, Polyrachis dives queens can establish a colony alone, but in captivity, they can also be multiplied through budding. In other words, you can take a group of workers and one or more queens to start a new colony. Plus, this species practices intranest mating, meaning young queens can mate within the colony without having to leave. This makes captive breeding much easier. However, Polyrachis dives as a demanding species. It is fragile, sensitive to temperature and humidity variations, and does not handle transport well. A poorly set up colony, or one subjected to too much stress, can decline quickly. You must provide them with a stable environment and enough materials to build their nests properly. Another interesting point, if you want to avoid collecting wild colonies, it is entirely possible to breed them ethically in captivity. By isolating fertilized young queens with workers, you can create new colonies and contribute to a more sustainable way of keeping this species. In summary, Polyrachis dives is an incredible aunt but it requires good knowledge of ant keeping. It's an active species with unique behaviors, but it's not recommended for beginners. So have you ever tried keeping Polyrachis dives? How was your experience? Let me know in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any new content on the fascinating world of ants.